Last time I went out to test this camera, I, I thought the uh, built-in microphone didn't sound very good. Or, or I mean, it sounded okay if there was no background noise, but like when I walked over the freeway overpass or when there was wind, it sounded terrible. So I'm gonna try this one out today. I also brought the little windscreen thing, so I'll also test out the uh, built-in microphone with the windscreen. And then I brought my GoPro too, because I'm, I mean, the GoPro has a wide angle lens, so I'm kind of curious how, how the GoPro would work for vlogging. Here's what my GoPro looks like and sounds like. I'm, I'm not using this microphone, it's just still here on the seat belt. So, yeah, we'll see how this looks when I put it into the video. All right, we finally arrived at Jalbanshan after like, 30 minutes sitting in traffic and waiting to get into the parking lot. We're walking down this little... I should probably not look at the camera while walking downstairs. One thing that's a little annoying is the receiver for this Rode microphone. It's on top of the camera. When I press the button to turn it on, I keep feeling like it's not on because it doesn't have any specific status lights on the uh, receiver. I think it's the only way you can tell it's on is from the LCD screen, but the LCD screen in the bright sunlight is too dark for me to really tell if it's on or not. Like this one, this one has the uh, has this little light on it, but the the receiver, as far as as far as I can see, the receiver has no status lights besides just the LCD screen being turned on, which I can like really barely see. I have to like cup my hand over my eye over the LCD screen to see if it's on or not. I was afraid that it was broken just now, but then I realized it's on, but like super dim. I'm also finding that it's just super uncomfortable to be talking to myself into a camera while there are other people around. I just feel like I look like a weirdo or something. This is what this uh, stairway looks like on the way to the hanging bridge. I'm guessing that the audio will sound much better with this external microphone because when I used the built-in mic last time I, I think the mic is oriented to pick up mostly the front of the uh, camera not the back yeah last time when I was walking on the street testing shooting from the back pointing to the front because the microphone is oriented toward the front of the camera it basically like barely picked up my voice but it was picking up a bunch of wind sound so I could not really hear my voice very clearly so I think having the external microphone would work much better if you're trying to shoot something like in front of you while still talking to the camera, at least with this camera. I guess the Sony ZV-1 Mark II has like an omnidirectional camera or something like that, so that one might work a little better if you're trying to talk from behind the camera. I also brought my big camera bag. Well, not really that big, but I brought this somewhat large camera bag with me. Because, and I brought my Fujifilm X-H2 and uh, my 90 millimeter lens. Not really sure what I'm gonna take any pictures of with the 90 millimeter lens, but if I end up taking, if I don't end up taking any pictures, then I just wasted my energy carrying this super heavy bag around. Um, if I do end up taking some pictures, maybe I'll include them in this video later. Some really cool looking trees around here. Super dense forest we're walking through. Actually, I will include at least one picture just because I want to show you guys what the actual camera setup that I'm using looks like. So I'll put it on the video now. So as you can see, it's like a little tripod. Uh, it can actually extend a little bit longer and then the, it has legs that can fold down, but the legs actually fold back up to become kind of like a handle. And then you can see the camera is tiny. The little receiver on the top is tiny. So it's a pretty compact and convenient setup if you're trying to just take some general pictures or film yourself. All right, here's the bridge. I don't know if this footage is gonna be very steady or not. I don't feel like I'm walking very steadily. This isn't my first time coming here, but it's my first time really taking any pictures or video. All right, once again, here's me trying out the GoPro. I'm not really sure. Yeah, we'll see how this sounds, but here I'll give you a little view of what it looks like and the different angles with the GoPro. Yeah, all right. All right, here you can see there's a gate. It says Fuxing Shiko Bulo. Not sure exactly what that means. The local tribe name or something. 
On the other side, there's this like picnic area. Last time I came here, there was a lot more shops open. Now it seems like everything is basically closed. Time to head back across. Oh man, it suddenly got super sunny and hot, but I forgot to put on sunblock. I'm probably gonna get sunburned. I just notice you can see the floor through the, or you can see down below the bridge through the floor. It's kind of a, how do I get it to focus down there? Focus at the bottom, super far down. All right, thankfully I'm back in the shaded area. I don't know if you can see, I'm sweating quite a bit. I'm a little out of breath now. You can see this part is just going, just constantly upstairs, all the way back to the parking lot. I don't know how far it is, but it's, it's super hot and humid here today, so I'm feeling it. You can see here on my watch, it says my training readiness is poor because I've been exercising too much. So maybe that's also why I'm super tired today because I did a really hard workout yesterday. Oh man, the sweat is just dripping down like crazy. Good thing I'm wearing a moisture wicking shirt you can still see a sweat line going across there. There's so much sweat, it's like my entire arms are covered in sweat. It's like dripping everywhere. Like every time I breathe, sweat flying off my mouth, getting all over the camera. Next time I'll think twice before going and doing some physical activities in the middle of the day in summer. All right, people, I'm back in the car, chilling with the AC on. It's so hot outside. I was going to actually do some follow-up video once I got to the top of the stairs, but uh, evidently the camera died. So I think the uh, yeah the battery life in this camera is not very good. I mean, I already knew that because I had a ZV-1 before, but I didn't recall it lasting for this short of a time. To be fair though, I do not really remember when was the last time I charged it, and I didn't specifically check the battery life when I, uh, before I went out today. So it may have already been at 50% battery or something when I came out, I, I didn't really check. Oh yeah, and one more thing I wanna add. I mentioned earlier in the video that I I brought my large camera bag with my X-H2S and my, my two lenses, including the 90 millimeter. And the result was that I basically, I did not take any pictures except the picture of the camera and the tripod. So I basically just wasted a ton of energy carrying that large camera bag during that hike. <laughs> Man. Oh, I also <laughs> I also wore these sunglasses on my hat the whole time and I didn't even end up wearing the sunglasses at all. So I, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs>